watching Omaha's ABC, KTV, Channel 7, your favorite choice for local news. This is KTV News Watch 7 at 10. Depression took hold of her life after destroying her sister. This Omaha woman had one option after therapy and drugs failed. Shock therapy, ECT as it's called now. She's among tens of thousands hoping to finally free themselves. But some believe ECT does more harm than good. The Health Watch special report tonight from KATV News Watch 7's Natalie Glucklich. Jenna Birma lost her role model, her oldest sister, Jill. Depression led to Jill's suicide. It was pretty, pretty devastating. Now, more than a decade later, Jenna fights the same battle. When I am depressed, I struggle getting out of bed, wanting to go to work, wanting to socialize. Therapy and antidepressants did not work. Tough for her even to play cards, tough on her mother. It's almost 12 years and it still brings tears. Judy Hurley, desperate not to lose another daughter, found new hope in this recent episode of the Dr. Oz Show. Electroshock therapy is real and it's more common than you think. ECT used for severe depression. Electric pulses to the brain cause brief seizures. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. Jenna was hesitant, especially after seeing the treatment of the past. But her psychiatrist, Dr. Prasanna Sitar, says the new form of treatment is different. It's uh, so much more safer that experts uh, uh, in the field are recognizing that ECT may actually be even safer than taking medications. Finally, I got to another point where I couldn't go anymore and I said, all right, let's give it a shot. Bye, Jenna. Jenna goes in for a round of ECT at Jenny Edmondson Hospital in Council Bluffs. She'll be asleep, another difference from the old treatment. The hospital will not let us film Jenna's treatment, but you can see on the Dr. Oz show. And the shock's up like that, and you're done. A quick pulse to the brain, then a seizure up to 90 seconds. Anesthesia and muscle relaxants reduce convulsions. If you look at the data, anywhere from 60 to 80 percent of patients or more have a positive response with ECT. Dr. Sitar says it's still a mystery as to why the treatment works, but critics like John Breeding, a psychologist in Texas, say ECT is dangerous. People end up you know, uh, having losing, losing significant chunks of their lives and then also having problems functioning. Right now, the ECT device is classified by the FDA as highly restricted. In 2010, the FDA asked for feedback, and most doctors requested those restrictions be removed. However, 80% of patients and activists wanted stricter oversight or a complete ban. People like Dr. Breeding. The main effect is memory loss, and the cause of it is the brain damage. Jenna says she has had minor memory loss and headaches, but emotionally she feels better. I, I seem to laugh more. I spend more time with my parents. Um, you know, we play cards almost every night, and we weren't doing that before. I'd come home and go downstairs and go to bed. Much needed smiles and hope for a mother desperate to save her daughter. A mother with a simple message for other parents. Don't give up. Hold their hand. Hold them. Cry with them. Don't give up. There's always hope. It's Natalie Glucklich reporting. Dr. Sitar hopes the FDA will lift the restrictions, allowing more widespread use. It's unclear when the FDA will make a decision.